there's an interesting new project and it's called Arco install basically is the arch install and we decided to add chatwm in this case you can add so many things but that's up to you that's your workflow i just want to have chatwm so if you git clone this you can build the iso and if you forget to type sudo he'll tell you sudo build iso so off it goes and um, let's pause the video it's actually quite fast the building of the iso and um, that's fun right because we need to build build and test and test and that's uh, of course fun that it's fast and um, we don't waste a lot of time let's pause the recording and see what we get the iso is out and it's in the temp arch live out arch links down here all right that's where it is and that's where i'll get it super f7 go to temp arch life out that's the one the new one that we've just built together i need to put into the cd in the boot manager into the cd rom and then we see this is a typical arch linux way of booting up we're getting a black screen and welcome to arch this is the pure make arch iso application that creates the iso but we have the latest arch install as well so this is more for users than for me i know i won't be a latin one and i know i want to change it and to create an alias so but okay at least uh, i give you a message to realize oh yeah when all is done i'll get a zesty and arch install is actually not arch install it's arch tall advanced which means i get this choice of number panels locales let's go and install and see what we get there are still some challenges but when are they no are there no challenges right always swing back this top i'm a bit quick but um, there are other videos to check that out and that happens if you type if you go maybe for your 50th installation and this is a special thing right so chat wm is a long list of all the applications i'd like to install coming from arch and coming from arcolinx so chat wm graphics driver is a bit uh, often I, I just skip this and then we end up with an nvidia 340 which i need to remove but i see that even though i'll take vmware the 340 will be available for some reason so i'll have to check with the guys of arch install why that is but here we are we have a list and this is exactly the list i'd like to have but right so that's the the profile the greeter is uh, just like him audio pulse audio network that one parallel downloads already done time zone brussels enter so it actually quite fast if you get to know well if you've done enough installations <laughs> then you get it um, installed quickly and then of course if you have a fast internet and if you could uh, a fast computer it all matters and under four minutes my system is actually installed which is not a long wait right You can skip ahead in the video i'm not gonna say anything until we reboot
installation seems to be halted that hasn't ha happened before but things can happen right back up and running I think just when I was about to stop the recording <laughs> this was me pressing some enters so reboot Now there's one thing you need to remember, the PyCam application and configuration sometimes really is very bad on VirtualBox. I wanted to say the S word. There you go, right? So we've got a super enter, that's not working. Ctrl T, that's not working. Super shift enter, that is working. And here we have all the folders immediately. So that's cool. Design is there. So Alex appearance is present. Control Alt O kills Pykem. This is what I like. That's the icon I'd like. And the mouse cursor is that one that I like. Voila, done, set. So if we run this, we have this. Size matters. What's not installed. And that's... Um, F12 works by the way, XFCE terminal. So you don't. So what is wrong? I think I don't know. I have to look at the code. And that's the NVIDIA. I've never asked NVIDIA 340 to be there. If we remove it, super enter, Alacrity works again. Right? So Alacrity is blocked because of the driver that's there. So that's solved. Had to. <laughs> Took a few hours to figure it out, and then sudo pacman minus s virtual box. The guest utils is the one I recommend to people these days, not the nox. And then sudo system ctl enable wasn't there a now thing. Well, there he is. So we immediately have the big screen. Alt N is a variety kicking in, but it doesn't have our Arconix scripts. So we have Scale added because of the Arconix uh, tweak tool, ATT, it's there, right? ATT is kicking, working, but um, so the scale is done. If the scale is done, I can kill a variety. Alt N launches variety, and Alt N is another wallpaper, and another wallpaper, and another wallpaper. Right? So that's working as well now. So the Compton works and doesn't work. So as you see, it's a bit strange. Solution for VirtualBox is a very simple one. Control H rely on the PyCam, not on this one, the PyCam.conf, on Real Metal Super, but on VirtualBox, quickly go to run.sh, not with that thing, Sublime Text is installed. Ctrl Alt O, kill, PyCam, voila. And we've, um, we've said it already for you guys, and that is PyCam, so either use the default PyCam, that one, or the config, save. So if you log out and log back in, and then go for it, Control T. You see, it is a bit strange. It's better already. It's the PyCam, but still 
it feels a bit strange. So B top but not installed yet. Zero pack minus S B top will not be there because guys, oh it is. Ooh. Because I was just about to say that um, Pykem, so Pykem is launched without a config. Sometimes it works. A few moments back it worked. But sometimes we see strange things. Now it works. <laughs> Doesn't flash or anything. Okay. Oh, now it's gone. So it's a bit strange how Pycam reacts on the virtual machine. Never mind, just go to real metal afterwards. So there you go. Next thing I'll probably do is git, which is already installed, thanks to the list. And then go to make the directory. Let's go through the motions, but not run it. CD data. And then here, git, git, clone, ay ay ay, git clone. Ah, too soon. And you decide what things you keep and what things, right? What do you run, what don't, or change and whatever you want, but stay in control and make this arch thing your thing. That has always been our goal, power. I think I said it all. So I've got um, a system that already has Firefox, maybe have a quick look. See what's already installed. I've made my decisions, you make your decisions, make a copy of Arco install. And if ChatWM is not your thing, go in the code and go add stuff, right? It's up to you, not up to me, to create things, Arch install, default profiles, desktop, what do you want Qtile to have? Qtile needs to have, comma, something else, right? NeoFetch, I don't know. You decide and just follow the syntax of the code and fast fetch. Et voila, etc. etc. So, next time around, you're going to get Qtile. But you know, Qtile does not have an actual configuration. Do you want Arclex Qtile? Git, or will you get something from somewhere else? Then you need to add, change Pacman, tell them where it is, and go for it. This task is entirely up to you. All right, but see the possibilities. I hope that's clear that this contains super possibilities to set an easy way to get Arch Linux installed the way you see fit with the application, the configurations that you find on the internet, not just Arch Linux. Cheers.